I'm Bryna Fryer, curator of collections of the National Museum of African Art, and we're behind the scenes in our main storage area. It's a harp from the northeast region of what is now the Democratic Republic of the Congo, and we believe it was made by the Zande peoples. Uh, this particular one is, uh, has a beautifully carved head and a, a sounding box of leather. And I have to admit, we've cheated a bit. Uh, the strings are replicas put on by our conservator. The originals would actually be made out of either giraffe hair or a, or a fiber called bast. They, they essentially provide, would have provided some sound, but secondary to the uh, musician's own voice. It was a time in the late, in the late 19th, early 20th century when a lot of foreigners, Europeans, were coming into the area, and it really affected the production of art goods in the, among the Zande and their neighboring peoples, the Boa, the Mangbetu. You ha began having uh, an increase in luxury materials, the use of ivory, uh, uh, okapi skin, zebra skin. Uh, you began having more figurative pieces, uh, musical instruments with human in the shape of human bodies or with elaborately carved heads. Uh, it was a time of great change uh, in the area and it uh, led to a, a real flourishing of the arts uh, that could be seen in museum collections to this day.